Okay, let's get started. Hi, everybody! Welcome to Play by Play. My name is Sean Bouchard. Uh, it is nice to have you here tonight, and I am excited about the game that we're playing, which is Pyre uh, by Supergiant Games, um, which I know basically nothing about. I know, I mean, I guess I know a little bit about it. I knew that Supergiant was making another game, but I didn't know that it was Pyre, uh, and. Um, and so that's about all I know. Uh, Supergiant made Bastion and Transistor. Uh, and made a big splash with Bastion, which came out, I have no idea, several years ago. It was one of the sort of um, really tentpole, triple-I, like uh, high production quality um, indie games uh, that, that really made it clear that indie games were a thing. Uh, and, um, everybody loved it, uh, and it's beautiful, and it has some really cool sort of, like, tricks up its sleeve, uh, and the sound design is, like, stunning, um, and I, I just didn't care for another, you know, top-down brawler, not even another top-down brawler, like any top-down brawler, like, I, it's just, it's just not my jam and so i i appreciated how sun uh how how honey smooth the narrator's uh gorgeous southern voice uh was uh but i i didn't like really play the game and so i didn't play transistor when it came out uh but last summer i was looking for things to download onto my ps4 and transistor was one of them uh and i played it and holy cow is that game awesome i love that game i love how sort of like techno noir it is uh i loved the like combinatorial uh power system uh i really liked the way that combat worked um, I loved the story that it told. I loved everything about it. I, was, I got super into it. So now I'm really excited about them having a new game. Um, uh, and now I'm going to play it. And I hope that it's really good. I think it's going to be, like, different. Uh, I mean, that's one of the things is that there are things that Bastion and Transistor have in common. Um, like an intensity of world building... Uh, gorgeous art, uh, really stunningly, notably brilliant sound design. Uh, but in terms of, like, games, uh, in terms of their narrative genre, in terms of their gameplay genre, uh, in terms of sort of what they're trying to accomplish, they're very, very, very different. Uh, and so that's my expectation here, is that we're going to get something beautiful, uh, high quality, that sounds incredible, uh, that is very different from, uh, from anything else that Supergiant has done so far. Um, yeah, okay, so cool, let's do that. Let's play video games. Um, that's how we're going to go. Uh interesting just to start out with this is such an interesting menu system because it's it's cursor based uh and most controller excuse me i'm like about to sneeze oh god this is the worst thing ever this is the ultimate tragedy ah okay um uh uh most controller based input systems don't use a cursor on menus uh, and so I'm cu I wonder, like, if that is a an artifact of the control scheme for the rest of the game. Chat is talking about uh, 17776, which I have not read, I'm not all caught up on, but I read the first couple of chapters of, and it is fucking amazing. Uh, so if you have not experienced 17776... Uh, go look that up and read it. I'm also super curious to find out what Pyre is about. Because I feel like Supergiant has been very intentional in the past with what their games are about. Um... 
we can explore that more but i'm i'm curious to see like how that comes out in this game um uh your days in the downside brought slow lonesome agony now as you lie yielding to the elements something rumbles into view three shapes emerge each clad in strange attire right on schedule what i tell you you told us we would find someone alive it's a masked woman and a masked creature okay Someday. I said we'd find someone alive someday, just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like she's breathing. It seems she still is. Then stand aside. I shall send her to a better place. She's a she? Can you people just tell? <laughs> that's, that's, that's an interesting uh, piece of dialogue. Uh, hang on, the markings on her rags, I think she's one of them. There is a lot going on here that I don't yet have context for. Uh, look at her, she's beyond our help, we're beyond hers. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. Indeed, the day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. Hey, dude. Um, don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us were equal nothings here. Okay. You're parched. He gives you a drink. You ache. He binds your wounds. You hunger. He gives you food. Little by little, it helps. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black a black wagon. Uh, nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals. Oh, look at that! There's some some uh, in some hypertexting happening here. Commonwealth. I, I it's actually a little bit interesting to me that this is the first word that is it's giving me context for. Maybe there haven't been any specific words uh, up till now. Maybe it just does, like, proper nouns. Commonwealth is a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups founded on principles of mercy and kinship whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Sounds cool. Uh, bu 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 uh, Commonwealth criminals get paraded through alabaster streets. Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. My only option is to step inside. Uh, press X at any time to advance events. That was a little confusing. I did not press X. I pressed A. And I don't know. I think I don't know. I still don't know what X does. Uh, the weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. Is the creature more talkative than anybody else? Hedwin says, I'm back. And with a guest, she loosens the clasps on her mask. And she is a horned woman. Jod what was it? Jodriel? Jodriel? Uh, and as for myself... He struggles with his mask. Jodriel soon assists. She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging for life. Um, this guy's clearly the comic relief. He's the, like, charmer. She's the, like, uh, Valkyrie, right? Um, and he's the... It, it is the... Uh, Oh, look at that. It's a dog with a mustache. <laughs> this is already fucking amazing. I mean, this is already amazing. This is already amazing. That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. Such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can she do it? Hope so. I haven't asked her yet. 
What? Then what are you waiting for? Hey, you sister. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Uh, he's asking if you are a reader. I mean... Oh, God! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Super giant! Oh, wow! Fuck, are you guys seeing this? I have dialogue choices where I can get more information about what the choice means before I click on it. Why the fuck haven't we been doing this for years? God damn it. Okay. <sighs> Over time you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth Decree. I'm... I... I'm... I'm sorry. I... The, oh, God. This is so good. Okay. Uh, literacy is a serious crime. No one in her right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Who you are or what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but your own. Uh, yeah, so the one thing I... Um, uh, uh, Shikandero is, is noting that I should keep an eye out for the keywords in red that uh, I can hover over uh, and I do know that but it's easy it's, I don't know for some reason it's easy for me to just read and not have it click that that is a interactable word I don't know why that is um, literacy has been prohibited for centuries those with knowledge of the old ways violate the law of the land reader one who can derive meaning from text that's good um all right i trust these guys they're clearly outlaws they're not authority uh figures one of them is a dog with a mustache they have helped me i mean the like smoldery romantic interest guy helped me but whatever uh they need a reader You confirm their suspicions, it's no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like you. Reader, you still live, thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. Uh, the exiles indicate the books in their possession. What if I press X? I th I, X, X and A just seem to do the same thing. Maybe they do. Uh, oh, look! It's like a, uh, an adventure game. Beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you wouldn't get far. I mean... Look at how fucking smooth and juicy this is i love this um what, what is this old raiments colorful robes ceremonial masks closed door uh i i'm not yet welcome back there uh odd creatures um intricate sigil symbol of some sort it's set on the wagon's floorboards you cannot sense its purpose Oh, I, it is. I am rumbling like fucking crazy. Uh, you pick up one of the old and heavy volumes bound in materials you do not recognize. It looks like a menu system. Uh, forward. A formal welcome undersigned to the eight scribes. Uh... You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, uh, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights, that you possess it, have capacity to glean its words, is testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide, uh, ere the turning of the years for souls to seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites, bearing this book. Uh, 
oblige the voice that tells you more. Okay. Uh, I can inspect it. You, dear reader, are... Oh, oh, oh! I could have read it very easily in... Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, alright. There's a shortcut for that, too. Uh, interact. Or press B to close the book. Brief instruction on when, where, and how to commence the rights. Okay. Book describes the complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. Uh, same country. Uh, the words swim in front of your mind as headwind gets your attention. He's the one who looks like that. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Oh no. Reader, dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile. Who is that? It's true what the book says. You can be free again. But That's, that is an affected yourself, accent. But someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights. The rights. The one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. It worked. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? She should still be there, uh, out there. Uh, for now, we have to put our faith in her. She could abandon us. She won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. We aim to free ourselves. We will not grow out, uh, old and die in the downside. Vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and enemies. None have been known to return from the forsaken land. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first we need your help. Show us the way. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. This is amazing. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Thank you, Roto. Uh, press A to pass the orb. Hold A. Oh, hold A to aim. Okay. Got it. The three must act as one. So only the person who has the ball can uh, can move, but I can also sprint, but I have stamina. Sprint until stamina depleted, there we go. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. Yes, the exile Ruki has the way of it. Ruki. Whoever steps into the flame is banished. For a time. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rights, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. I just love that Supergiant said, let's make a sports game, and this is what they came up with. 
I mean, holy cow. Holy cow. All right, approach adversary. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. I don't 100% understand the aura. Cast your aura like a stone. Correctly done. What does the Again. Oh. If you have the ball, you don't get an aura. If somebody with an aura touches you while you have the ball, you lose the ball. Just or you actually get banished, maybe. A glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. But only temporarily. Once more. And you can so like can I no, because I can't I can't touch that guy. Uh Uh, can I switch characters? Then the orb quenches the flame. Okay. Now I say jump. Leap with all your strength. Okay, so I just can't touch the ground where the ores are. So I can jump. If I can jump. Oh, Jesus. This is cool. I mean, it's very simple. The adversary's pyre. Whilst yours yet burns. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. But I can, like, I can totally kill that guy and that guy and that guy. And then there's, like, nothing to prevent me. Ah, oh, damn it, except for that. Yeah! There we go. Okay. So, and it gets weaker and weaker, I guess. Yeah, you're going nowhere. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to that. Jump! Try banishing- oh, I didn't banish anybody. I should probably try banishing some people. Right? Good? They were not very good at this game. I probably missed getting an achievement or something. Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. Starface guy. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you, you never listen. All right. This is pretty fucking rad. Uh, that was our way out. We just follow the stars, supposedly. Uh, let us regard the night. Uh, Jodariel... Jo yeah, I still don't know that name. Jodariel leads you outside. Clear night sky awaits. Uh, show us before the howlers catch our scent. Uh, where shall the rites commence? Ancient ritual competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. Eight scribes give their freedom. You gaze at the stars. Let's do it. Let's gaze at some fucking stars. It's a sort of a weird star. No, oh. Oh, am I, is this a map? Am I choosing a destination? Knowledge and new experiences. That sounds appropriate. Uh, oh, or is it... This is the... Oh, I see. This is the one that's buzzing. South Star burns bright over the massive ridge of stone. Much further than the naked eye can interact to determine the location of the next right. Got it. Okay, it's gonna do a thing for me. Two hundred leagues due east, the ridge of gold. According to the stars, uh, fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by gold. 
Golothian, Golothanian, Gol Golothanian, yet loom over those living in its shadow. All right, we're gonna go straight there. It's, it's time for our next match. Do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, sister. We're counting on you. See you inside. Rights are key. So the, the, the hypertext thing is neat. I feel like there's a there's an awful lot of redundant information there. I don't know that it's used as well as it could possibly be used. Um, and I've only seen the one example of the like context in dialogue choices, but that to me is so huge. That has so much potential, like game-changing potential. And this does. This also could like be, I think, exploited in really interesting ways. I don't feel like the game is doing that yet and I don't know that the game is interested in doing that you arrive in downside prairie where the road ahead is forked there's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed I'm telling you we ought to take the northern pass get an associate hold up in hollow root I've got to pay it a visit too besides I mean this doesn't this actually, like, weirdly, this doesn't tell me anything that this doesn't tell me, right? We should take the Northern Pass. I've got an associate hold up in Hollow Root. Hollow Root is some kind of a location on the Northern Pass, and that's all that this says. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm still sorting out how I feel about that. Fire on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool to avoid attention. Southern route, because it's not the northern route. Goes through a human area uh, packed with hot springs. It's it's called Blooming Pool. You know, you, you get what I mean? Uh, be stuck in a bog while we're at it. This dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settles this? She marks the way. We get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second-guessing her along the way. Can we live with that for now? Yeah, uh, good point. These might just be always highlighted keywords. Later on in the story, you will appreciate the reminders. That's entirely uh, plausible, that this is sort of like a... I mean, it's literally a glossary system. Uh, I think there's something interesting about the fact that it can provide context the first time that you see a term that isn't being exploited here, maybe because that's a terrible idea, maybe because that's just overwhelming to, uh, to a reader. Um, there's something a little bit inelegant about it. I'm going to keep thinking about it. Uh, just point the way, the stars guide us through you, choose a route. Alright, northern route goes through an uh, exile encampment. Uh, Rookie knows someone, but I don't know how much I trust someone that Rookie knows who owes Rookie a favor. Uh, 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 Jody thinks that she can find rare flora here. Um, I don't know. I feel like the rights are not a spectator sport. So I'm going to go this way and avoid having to answer any kinds of potentially uncomfortable questions. Uh, Jod Jodariel offers to show you around Blooming Pool after she notices you you staring at the bogs and vegetation near the wagon. Soon something catches her eye. Uh, this shall pay for half our trip. Uh, a black bloom uh, can be sold at the slug market. That's useful. 
I mean, this is sort of standard MMO fare now, right? Where you like hover over an item and it tells you its value and what type it is and some, yeah. Uh, but still, that is that is useful to be able to do. Especially in a non-MMO kind of a game. Black Wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the Ridge of Goal. Others ask you to assist with making preparations for nightfall. Commence the Mint of the Right. Commence the Right. Page revealed. First exile. What are you? Black Wagon. Uh, press, uh, press Y to check inside. Or... This is a button. Commence the right. You've reached the celestial landmark. Now get everything and everyone prepared. Well, there's a little dialogue bubble next to the uh, the wagon, so I feel like I should see if they have things to say. Greentail here was just complaining how you opted to not take us up to Hollow Root uh, and violate our anti-second guessing pact. Nah, I was only saying how our sisters are gonna have to keep on making the tough calls. Besides, just making sure we got something to pawn off at the next slug market we find. What is a slug market? Crude trading post found in the downside. Is that, I, yeah, okay. Uh, and we have. Now let us focus on the task at hand. We have reached our destination and have much left to prepare before tonight. I'm just going to note, I'm just going to point out that, like, hovering over that word, I'm... I'm hoping for something and every time that I do it and the thing that it tells me is just what I kind of could already infer I feel sort of a disappointment I get a negative reinforcement for interacting with the text in that way and that that's the bit that I feel like it's super easy to just not interact with the text right like it as a glossary function it's fantastic because I only when a word when somebody says something that I don't understand because I've forgotten it I can like get a reminder of what it is that's fine and I can just ignore it the rest of the time that's fine but there is something about the interactivity of it that is making me uh, I am learning not to engage with that part with that particular mechanic unless I need to and I feel like there's the potential for something more <laughs> okay all right good um whoops 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 audio two of them uh soon go about rummaging through the remnants of books strewn about the wagon leaving you your own devices is the other guy here he is not what are these things nothing all the sparkly stuff uh headwinds cooking tins Oh, Hedwin is scouting the area, I see. Uh, uh, there's a drive imp. Okay, alright. Revealed. Oh, here we go. First exile. Um, you know, perhaps, of the thrice cursed. Oh, let me do this. Uh, thrice cursed name of Sol Solium Mur, Emperor of Shar. First exile, my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him in and around his country, yet we found in Solium Mur a man transformed of body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It was my greatest honor now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Got it. So this is going to be just like a lore book. All right, let's let's play a game. Whoops, that was wrong. There we go. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rights. Preparations are set. However, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. 
Keep telling us there's nothing here. What a bunch of idiots we are. Uh, if we traveled all this way for nothing, Judariel, chill. That rolled R, man. That's is ready. Your adversaries in the rights this eve shall be the accusers. Whosever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished. Oh now there's like obstacles. To freedom. Interesting. Now let the rights commence. Those pyres, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred pyre points. Uh, pyre burns bright. Cross from your companions appear several others clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rights, the accusers. Let's hope everybody's ready. Be still, we have a visitor. Oh, it's the accuser equivalent of a uh, headwind. At last, the night wings grace us with their presence. I see that the reports of your demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Uh, interesting. Nobody moves save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Lendl. Surprised to see old Lendl again. Uh, he's the apparent leader of the exile triumvirate you encountered. I uh, trust you remember my face, though so you must have assumed never to see it again after the last time. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now I and the accuser shall repay that affront. He shows his mask back on, takes position with his comrades. All right, let's 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 do it. it uh, it's time from the shadows you clutch the Book of Rights. Focus on the task at hand. Who do I get to be first? My middle, my middle character, whoops. Whoops. That's that's what I wanted. BAM! Around the outside! Damn! Will it go it oh it does uh it kind of does? It doesn't really. Okay, he took out one of my other guys. Is that other guy gonna be gone still? Uh, hear me, accusers, stand your ground. I mean, they're just yeah. Uh, let your auras boil in rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. Do I only have one dude now? We have rattled them. They mean to draw us out. Then we'll just have to run more circles around them. Uh, oh, I can fling the orb. Sorry, uh, narrator voice. I was just, I was still learning. Oh. Caught. Okay. Oh, no, I don't. I was trying to I was trying to practice throwing it, but I accidentally didn't throw it. Yes, take that. A Boom, thrown. There we go. Flinging the orb into the flames like that. You elude banishment using such tricks. Somebody get the orb. Oh. Uh, sports announcer caster is like 
an unimpressive thrust, but true. Unimpressive? Wait, so do I get fewer points for throwing it in than for, like, doing other things? Like that. How about that? Minus 20. They haven't all been minus 20. I just don't know what they all have been. Oh, that's nice occlusion. Look at how far I can jump! I feel like I'm unstoppable, which worries me because if the AI gets good, then they will also be unstoppable. Oh! Nicely done. Oh, I don't have any other guys, I see. Oh, good, good, good. I'm so slow. Nope. No good. Alright. I would I, that was just playing around. You're dead. You're all dead. Oh no! Oh shoot! Okay, alright, wait, wait, wait. Hang out, hang out. Play defensive. That was a nice jump. That was a nice jump. Dangerously close. Just gonna walk it in. Just walk it in. You know. The Nightwings. Here's my question for announcer narrator, dude. Is somebody, like, inevitably going to win this championship? Like, somebody is going to get freed? Is he, is he like, equally denigrating all of the competitors? Or is it just us? Are we somehow special in that, like, he doesn't think we specifically are going to make it. Or is it not a traditional sports bracket style competition uh, and possibly nobody will win and that is the expectation? Questions. World building questions that I have. Uh, your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, but know this, Lendl, asshole. Accusers will not forget your wickedness. The next time we meet, you will rue the day. This is fucking awesome. This is so good. The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. Uh, lev leveled up? Can regain their freedom. Enlightenment earned, conducted right, prevailed in right. 500. Are we all going to level up like this, I guess? Choose a mastery. Oh, look at all this context I get now. Okay. Uh, rank 2, that's my level. Uh, Sins of the Fallen Emperor. Uh, physical... Okay, Strength and Physical Prowess. Uh, spirit and Sheer Force of Will. Okay. Uh... Recover all of your stamina after banishing an adversary. Got it. Um, after using rush to lunge forward, rush again right away. Is this a... Is this just like a timing thing or... Because doesn't it take up my stamina to rush? Is is rush... Do I, st do I start sprinting with a rush? And so I can... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, I'm going to do this. I like that. I understand that. I'm actually... You know, I am always prone to choose the option that I understand uh, over the one that I don't entirely understand. Okay. 
Uh, Ruki did not get enlightenment. So only Jodrell got enlightenment. I'm not sure why. Other players definitely scored more than Jodrell. So I don't know. Um, after the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness as you return to the wagon. It's still night sky. You see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. Um, oh, I should have stopped. Well, let's stop here. It's loading. Uh, Going to take a quick break. We'll come back after the game has loaded. <laughs> 